Hello everyone, welcome back. Today also I came up with one more interesting topic called how trim map works internally. So in previous videos, I already explained about how linked hash map works internally and moreover that how hash map works internally. So if you did not watch those videos, watch those videos, then start learning internal working of trim map. So in hash map and linked hash map, we have concept called default initial capacity means array of 16 buckets it, it will be there right so but in tree map we don't have that concept why because internal data structure of tree map is red block tree so red block tree is nothing but one special kind of binary search tree only with some properties like root node is always black node and all child nodes are black nodes and no two adjacent nodes have same color i mean we can't i mean maintain no two adjacent nodes having same color either it may be red color or black color so anyway, this is one kind of binary search tree only. Now let me try to explain about tree map internal working. So in tree map also we have for storing key and value purpose entry. Entry will be there in linked hash map I already explained right. So entry is a static class. In tree map also entry is a static class. So which is having key comma value that extends map dot entry so in map also we have entry right so map dot entry i will show you documentation so it is having five properties let me try to declare them one by one so first it will have key and one more thing is value next three properties are of entry type itself so one is entry entry type of key comma value of parent the entry itself one of the parent to tree map i mean uh, each node in the form of entry only i will explain so next one is entry of key comma value with left next one is entry entry of key comma value of right so binary such tree is nothing but in the form of tree i mean tree data structure it will look like like this only right so this is the root node and it have binary means only two nodes right at most we have either one or two at most two nodes so then only we can call that is a binary tree right so it will something look like this so this is called root node this is called left right this is called right and this is parent so that's what along with each node is having along i mean along this key and value it have five properties each node if you can observe this is the node have five properties this is the node having five these five properties this is the node having these five properties so if you can observe this dot symbol i mean it will look like like i mean look like this so along with the key comma value so it will maintain parent i mean parent link to the parent and left right i will explain internal working so let me show you the documentation about entry so if i can open tree map so tree map so there is no default capacity in tree map so they are declaring entry with root right first node will be root node open entry so entry is a static final class that extends map dot entry i already explained right so having five properties like key value left right parent key value parent left right right that's what i am trying to show here now if i can observe put method that exists inside so this is not map this is entry class right we don't have put in tree map we have put method so if i can observe put method so whatever key and value you are trying to pass it is calling one more put method with the three parameters we can open the documentation about put method so they are assigning root node right whatever i shown on initial right here if you can observe that root node they declared so here so this is the root node they are trying to use here 
here that root node is assigning to t for temporary so if it is now that is the root node so add entry to the empty map so if there is no data first value itself becomes a root node so if we can open that method add entry to empty map so they are using constructor right entry constructor key value with null so and they are assigning some size and mode count they are trying to update if it is not null then there may be at least one node will be there in that case it will compare i mean always it will compare left nodes if we have whatever node if you are trying to add that node becomes the root node right then it will compare always with root node so if the root node they are trying to compare here implementing comparator right so with key whatever key you are trying to pass and key in root node t is the root node here right so it will compare so if the value whatever you are trying to add next time so if it is less than i mean here already we got the result in cmp right so if it is greater than zero it will go to right side less than zero it will go to left side so smaller values always go to left side to the root node greater values always go to right side to the root node now let me try to explain with an example so here i am trying to take values like so 90 40 50 100 110 120 and 55 so this is the I mean this is the data along with values also there imagine i am trying to store in the form of key value format i am trying to write here only keys so whatever node you are trying to add into tree map that node becomes the root node right so 90 is the root node all data i mean whatever you are trying to add next time it will compare always with root node if it is less than go to left side if it is greater than go to right side 40 40 is less than 90 go to left side next one is 50 50 also less than 90 left side so 50 is greater than 40 right side next one is 100 100 is greater than 90 go to right side 1110 is greater than 90 is greater than 100 1110 and 120 greater than 90 greater than 100 greater than 110 120 55 less than 90 greater than 40 greater than 55 like this so this is the if i can add few more nodes like 30 and 45 it can go to right side and here so like this if i can add some value like 95 so it came to here so imagine these values also already there if we can add order will be disturbed anyway so if i can print this root node this is the root node right so this is the root node so we have tree traversal technique right in tree in order pre-order post order so imagine with pre-order in that case if i can print print the data of tree node so tree hash map follows always in i mean always ascending order right by default so if i can print the data it will start from leftmost node so 30 40 again this node is completed right so when it comes to 30 40 50 is greater than that again this node start from 45 so 45 50 55 and 90 95 100 110 120 so if we can observe this always values are in ascending order so this is about internal working of tree map by default it will maintain ascending order so let me try to write example i mean here i take already integer comma string right so if i can add data into tree map map dot put some value i am trying to pass some values i am trying to store here so if i can copy it multiple times and then i will update it so here 80 
then forty. Then one ninety, one hundred, next one is one twenty. So I am trying to provide some random data. You can take any order. So JPA and one thirty, or I can provide smaller value as well. No problem. Fifty is some JDBC. Now, if I can access that elements one by one, so tree map dot entry set dot for each. So each element I am trying to print. Let me print the keys, then we can understand. And I will print values also, no problem. E dot get value. Make one comma here separator. So get value. I make get key. I want. So here instead of Ellen. So if we can observe that data will be there in the form of ascending order from 40 to 190. So here I entered, I mean 90 is the root node, but I got first 40. So you are observing, right? Whatever I explained here with here, I am taking only keys. But anyway, each node having internally four parts, right? I already explained here. Each node is having along with the key and value inside entry parent left right so means if we can observe this for 100 let me try to represent that 100 with all the five properties so along with the, imagine this is the left this is the right middle is the parent and this is the key this is the value so anyway key is 100 right if you imagine this is the 100 90 is the left okay 95 is the this is the left 95 and 110 is the one one ten is the right Anyway, it will be link will be there and parent is 90. Parent is 90. So it will look like this. Five properties, right? Left, value, parent. I mean here this is key. Left, key, parent, value, right. So these are the four, I mean five properties each node. But anyway, here I'm trying to explain for understanding purpose, I am considering only key. So for that keys here, we are getting only all ascending order, right? But internally each entry is having left, right, parent. But here we are not seeing right, but we are seeing only keys and values. If I can add value also, no problem. I can address that. So E dot get value. Now along with that key and value, now here I can provide some space or else it is some not understanding right here. Now there is a gap instead of that if I can provide ln then it will be good. So all ascending order from 40 to 190 along with values also. So this is about tree map so if you can observe here I, here i already wrote some points so underlying data structure for tree map is red block tree so null values does not allow null null keys if i can add null keys i will get exception let me try to show you that so if i can add null 
so i got exception like null pointer exception that's why it, it does not allow at least single null also i mean single null key also it won't allow ordering by default natural sorting order i already explained right from ascending order if you want your own you can override that comparator logic you can implement sorting logic like descending order duplicate keys it does not allow duplicate keys if you are trying to add duplicate key it will override previous one with last one so if i can run i will get only 196 so only 196 jdbc if i can override jdbc with uh, some jsp i will get 96 with jsp not 96 with JDS, jdbc it will override jdbc so that is about duplicate uh, keys thread safety not it is not thread safe and performance it it provides big wow of log and time complexity why because the elements is already in sorting order right so searching will be very fast here so that's why it is taking logger, log time, logarithmic time performance means big wow of log and it will take for searching so iterating the keys are order i mean um, i mean iterating right so at the time of iterating here if we can observe by using for each i am trying to iterate right they are saying natural sorting order so anyway point i mean at line number nine point is same to iterating so fail fast iterator so it may throw concurrent modification it is fail fast iterator it will throw concurrent modification exception if you are trying to modify the at the time of iterating if you can modify the trim map size it will throw concurrent modification exception example use cases maintaining the sorting order if you want to maintain some starting order along with the key value requirement in that case go for trim map this is the best use case so this is about internal working of hash map i mean not hash map ha tree map and its example so if you like the content hit on like button and subscribe programming kt thanks for watching